to the course Free Leads from Local Business Listings. This is video one, an introduction and theory of local business marketing. The primary purpose of this course is to teach you how you can use local business listings on the internet to generate traffic and attract new customers. Going forward, we will refer to the local business listing using the acronym LBL. Consumers today are frequently using the internet to find and research local businesses that can provide the products or services they are looking for. We all know that the internet is rapidly replacing the print yellow pages as well as other forms of media. When a local consumer hops on the web in search of a local business, they will typically begin their search on a search engine such as Google or Yahoo, as well as a variety of other good sources of local business information. We break these sites into four basic categories. There are more, but these are the most important for local businesses and will be the ones that we focus on. There are search engines such as Google, Bing, Yahoo. There are also local directories such as the Yellow Pages, Super Pages, and others. There are review sites that are directories but have developed a reputation among users to be a good source of consumer reviews. And there are niche directories that are authoritative resources for your particular industry. Okay, so what exactly is a local business listing, or the LBL? The LBL is a listing that contains the basic information about a business. Information such as name, address, telephone number, business category, and other information. All of the sites we just mentioned are really just big online directories databases full of business information. The LBL is simply your business page or listing within these big directories. You may or may not realize that your business is probably already listed in a few of these directories if your business was formed more than a year ago. These sites collect information from lots of different sources and your info can find its way into these sites. All of these sites operate in a similar way. A user types in a few keywords for a particular location or city and then click search. The site will then show a display page listing the results of the businesses that match the search. We call this the search results page. Then a user will look through the results and may decide to click on one of them. This will take the user to a page dedicated to that specific business. This is the LBL business page. Each of the sites we cover in this course will look a little different, but the general concepts are the same. Let's take a look at a few examples. First, here is a search for dentist in Miami on Google. The information listed in the red box are the local search results. Google also shows a nice little map showing where each of the results are located. Again, this is what we call the search results page because it shows the top business results for the particular search performed. Okay, next. Let's say a user searched for pizza in Fort Lauderdale, Florida on Google, and then they clicked on the top result. You would see a business profile page. This is an example of the LBL for Promonti Brothers Pizza Grill. You will see the business name on top, their address, and lots of other interesting information. Don't worry, we're going to discuss all the different types of information on the LBL later on in the course. For now, we just want to show you some examples of what an LBL can look like. Next, we take a look at another example of a search results page. This time we search for a pool contractor in West Palm Beach, and this is on CitySearch.com. Notice the red box to see the business listing results. Finally, we look at one more example of an actual LBL page, this time on the popular review site Yelp. Again, each of the sites we will discuss have a search function that will show users a search results page that contains a series of business listings and will also have an LBL page dedicated to a business. This is where the specific information about the business is displayed. All of these sites can provide your business with quality traffic, but we believe that for most businesses the majority of the traffic will come from search engines, Google in particular, given its dominance in the internet world. The great thing about LBLs is that your business can have a free listing on these sites. As we already mentioned, if your business has been around for a few years, you may already be listed. We're going to show you how you can claim your existing listing if it's already listed, or how to add your listing if it's not already on these sites. 
The following videos will discuss in detail how you can claim or add your LBL and take control of the information listed there. But let's not worry about this for now. First we need to discuss the concepts needed for a successful LBL. Here are our four basic principles for a successful LBL. First, your LBL must be listed on Okay, so now that we have the basics down, let's discuss how to maximize the value you can get out of your LBLs. As we discussed, when web searchers go to these sites, they type in some search information and click search. The words they type in are called keywords. An example could be pool contractors or pizza or any good or service you can think of. The first way to maximize your LBL exposure is to get your listing to show up to display as a result for as many keywords that are relevant to your business as possible. Again, more exposure or views equals more chances of connecting with potential customers. We're going to discuss in detail how to optimize your LBL to contain the right keywords for your business. The second factor we need to maximize is your LBL ranking on the search results page. As we showed in some of the previous slides, when a user submits a search, they will see a list of businesses that match their search keywords. This list is ordered, meaning one business is displayed first and another business is displayed last. Where your LBL ranks on this list will directly affect the number of views your LBL receives. Again, more clicks and views of your LBL equals more potential customers. So we need to optimize your listing to get ranked as high as possible. Let's talk a little more in detail about keywords. These are the words and phrases that the web searcher will submit to find a local business. They can be a single word or even a phrase. They may be words that describe a business service such as air conditioning repair, or a product such as Botox. Keywords are something that may sound easy, and you might be saying to yourself right now that you are certain you know the best keywords for your business. In reality, you probably have a very good idea, but you will need to do some research to get it just right. For example, if you are a restaurant owner, would you choose Italian restaurant, or would you choose pizza? Or how about if you're a med spa? Do you choose med spa or medical spa? And does it make a difference? It absolutely makes a difference, and we're going to show you how to research this in the next videos. Keep in mind, the websites that contain your listing also have millions of other business listings in their databases. When a user submits a search, their website system will decide which businesses to display. To do this, their system uses an algorithm to determine the best results. Algorithm is just a fancy, a really nerdy term for a formula that these websites use to determine which LBL results to show. But if you know how they work, you have a better chance of getting your LBL displayed more often. The algorithms will search for LBL listings that contain matching keywords or similar keywords within various sections of the LBL business profile. Keyword matching is one of the most important criteria many websites will use to determine which LBLs to display on the search results page. Your job is to write your LBL listings in a way that makes you eligible for as many keywords as possible. Once again, the more times your LBL shows up on a search results page, the more exposure and views you will get. Let's review a quick example. Bob's Italian Bistro in any town USA. Bob's is a fictitious neighborhood Italian restaurant. They have customers that dine in and also enjoy a big takeout pizza business. Let's say a searcher types in pizza takeout in any town USA on a search engine. Bob's Italian Bistro would be a great option for the searcher, but they will probably not find Bob. The keywords pizza and takeout are nowhere to be found in Bob's LBL. 
and they will probably not display as a result. This is why selecting the correct keywords for your business is so important. Our next discussion will be about the ranking position for your LBLs. After a user performs a search, they will see the search results page. This list of LBLs is ordered, meaning one business is displayed first and another business is displayed last. Again, higher placement on the list will generally translate to more clicks to your LBL page. Also, each site we discuss may have a slightly different layout for the search results page. The number of listings that appear on the first page may vary, as well as the placement of these listings on the page. Google, for example, will typically display the top seven results. This is referred to as the Google 7-pack. We consider the Google 7-pack one of your most important placements because it has the potential to generate a lot of traffic. As we all know, Google is the dominant search engine on the web, and we recommend making Google a priority in your LBL strategy and efforts. We have covered the basic terminology and theory, so we are ready to jump in and present our top 10 LBL ranking techniques as well as our list of the five deadly rank killers you need to try and avoid. You should review this video as necessary to make sure you are familiar with all of the basics, and we'll see you in the next video.